So we're going catapults across here again. We'll make a couple and then we'll put some libraries in. Actually, I want to put this guy down here and get those woods. So that's going to be a road. Okay, so... Getting these guys out of there. Alright, is there a mine here? There's no mine here. I thought there was. Oh well. Put a mine on there. Alright, so let's put a road there. Alright, open a nine. So we're starting to get up to big numbers between turns. That was almost 30 seconds between that turn. My guess is because there's a war going on. <coughs> All right, let's go with um, swordsman again. Um, yeah, so when the wars happen, generally the turns take a long time. In late games, I found some where it's like been half an hour between turns, but I'm planning on cutting it all out, so don't worry about that. So that was an archer, so we want to build another settler in here. So he's got that workshop now built. I should build a barracks here, which I'm going to do in five turns, because those, like I said, those catapults that get built, they have hit points, so the extra, they only have two, I think, at, at um, regular level. At veteran level, they'll have three. So, you know, I need to have them at least sur relatively survivable. Okay, so that's going to be another catapult in here. Walls, we're going to go catapults. This guy's finished a cat, we're going to go again with another one. Spearman here, we'll generate another one. Spearman here. Uh, we don't have the ability to do much. Let's build a warrior and we'll send him back and turn him into a uh, swordsman. I'm going to build a uh, trick city here in a second. It's not really a trick city, but it's what I like to call a... Uh, it's not really a cheat city either. I call them cheat cities, but um, I'm going to build a few cities on mountains that have a co that will just be generating a couple of hammers. Let's mine this. A couple of hammers each. Uh, and then I'm, I'm not going to connect them to any of my other cities. So all they're going to be doing is generating warriors that I can send back to convert to um, swordsmen. I'd much rather pay gold for swordsmen than to have to waste all the turns building them when I can be building buildings and stuff that I really need. Okay, so Babylon's crunching on that side there. Let's put a road in Gonna put one there. So this guy's done. So let's merge him with this city. across a couple guys up there. A couple of s new sieves that is, but something tells me that we're pretty close to the number that's on this continent. Seems to be a pretty good number. Alright, so we got a settler built up here. Let's go back with another spearman. This guy's building catapults for our front lines. This guy, we're going to build a library now. This guy just finished his library, so we're going to go with walls. Lion warrior barracks. There's the crocodile warrior right there. We're going to go with grizzly first. Only because we'll get a, get a couple more units out. So now we can build croc barracks, which is great. They're not excessively strong. Um, it's not like they're, you know, a major amphibious unit. They have the same stats as a, uh, the Peltist, which is two attack, two defense, and you know one missile attack, I believe. We'll 
find that out shortly. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's been a while since I've played, obviously, but pretty sure that's what it is. Okay. So you I'll send out with one of you guys. This guy can go up here. And here we'll change this to a croc barracks. It's gonna be eight. Um a little less than a spearman. Alright. I'm gonna put you in here. Fill that hole in. Now Babylon's gonna try and get around me over here. He's gonna be sending a spearman and uh one Jeez, I don't know where to send this guy this way. Um, he's going to be sending spearmen and settlers through my territory to try and settle to the uh, east of uh, east of me and to the north of Spain there. Fill that gap in. Fill it in, guys. I don't care. Then you guys can fight amongst yourselves. Yeah, see, this is what an Izukian place looks like. We sell it, We settle on one of those. All right, seven. Next turn, we'll check to see uh, if we can get any tech off anybody. Alright, catapults. Let's go to the library. I think we're good with cats right now. We got a couple in most of these cities up here. Let's just drop this guy in this one. This is going to be a road. Completed our road here. So now let's get a road going across this way. Now we can get some water here. Okay, we look pretty safe over there, so let's do mine there. And let's put let's irrigate this. Faster road on the hills. Library 4, Catapult 4, so we don't want to chop anything just yet. Let's put a road here. So there's the Asian style barracks up there. Let's just go back up real quick and have a look. So this is uh, Asian style barracks, so they got, you know, spearmen with extra hit points and um, some footmen and horsemen and stuff. Uh, almost similar to the uh, the uh, barracks that we have. Or to the uh, one that we have down here. Although a little more Asian themed. Alright, let's check for the last few turns before we get this uh, elephant running done. See if we can get anything here. We'll check on when we got one turn left too. Babylon, let's get a rite of passage. That'll make them happy. I never did check the technologies there. Now nah, we're still good. I'm wondering who's going to be doing construction and currency. Usually that's what they go for right after map making. Um, I'm hoping... See, they haven't got it yet. Which leads me to believe they must have, they must have got most of their stuff from Goody Huts. Spain is going to end up being a superpower. They've got a very similar position to me, a lot of open area. All right, Russia, anything good? No, I'm not going to worry. Well, if, if Rome had any technologies, they would have shopped around them, shot them around right now, but they don't. So, all right, elephant riding in six. We'll stop at uh, turn one to see if we can get any more. Alright, no more de declarations of war between there and through that turn, I mean. So we're going to keep making swordsmen in my capital. This guy's done with his library. I'm going to throw a harbor up here, maybe make a few galleys. Probably going to need that soon enough. Uh, this guy's done with his catapult. So we do have a library here already, I believe. We do. We're going to need a temple shortly, so let's drop one in now. Actually, I'm going to drop a worker out first and then, attempt, then one of those guys. Worker than temple, I think. Catapult up front here. So we said we we're going to go with library next. And we got the library down in here. Going to make a catapult first. 
and send it up to the front lines. This guy's going to keep making swordsmen. Library's down here. It's behind the line, so I'm not worried. So let's make a catapult. Library's down here. Once again, let's make a catapult. So we're just going to fortify these guys in the front lines here. This guy... Um, Sending up there this time. And you are going to go here. Okay, we finished the mine there. So let's go there. Okay, these cities are slowly growing here. Um, I'm going to leave you... Actually, I'm going to start sending these guys up there. That's a lot of guys Spain's got there. See, they're going to get bored. Right after uh, there's no bar putts in those spaces, these guys are gonna just going to get bored with having these guys out here, and they're going to attack somebody. I'm really hoping it's not me. They've got, what, one, two, three, four, five cities on my board, which isn't too bad, and I've got five. One, two, three, four, five, plus one hanging back slightly, just like they do. So I'm going to put a city in here. Um... That's too many turns. Hmm. We got a settler coming out down here in Bremen, so I think we'll send him over there. So yeah, about another 30 seconds between turns there. Swordsman again. Croc Warrior Barracks now. Alright, so let's... Hmm. Can I start building roads north? Okay, now you library in five. Let's chop this. Get that library a little faster. Put a road out this way. Okay. See, here they come. <laughs> nope. Warriors, man. Okay, so we meant to do um, a check on our researcher, see if we can turn it down a little bit. Okay, so all those libraries really helped us out now. We're plus 80 per turn, which is great. We're going to need currency really soon. Get those marketplaces in there.
Okay, so let's just turn this guy here. All right, we're at ma almost max tech. Actually, you know what? We might be able to just turn our technology down to zero. That guy stays as a uh, scientist. So it's a swordsman, another swordsman. Actually, let's make a couple spears that are veteran level. Same with this guy. Catapult's done. So now we want to go with a library in here. Library's done. Want to go to walls. Okay, just moving these guys up. As far as we can there. Uh, keep going along this way. Um, gonna use that guy to chop there. Alright, open three. So, library's done over here. Back to building our swordsman. Workers done in here. We said we were going to do a temple, I believe. So let's do that now. Because we're going to chop that. Catapult done over here. We need another cat. Still need to supply these to the front lines. So I think our, we're solidifying ourselves pretty good here. Let's put them up in here. Now the reason why I don't use these Centurions to put them on the uh, as defense is because like, they have a tendency to really quickly get killed. And I would rather use them as a large counter-attack counter force. Alright, so let's put this one here. Okay, let's do that. Alright, elephant riding in two. I'm going to actually just check to see. I meant to do that last turn, but check to see if I can turn this down to zero now. Yeah. So, okay. Bonus. Two turns. Alright, swordsman in the capital. So, we're going to start looking here right after we get to elephant riding to try and find out what squares we've got left in our ter territory that aren't being um, in a big fat cross of any cities and we're going to fill them with extra cities and the reason being is at some point at some point um, what am I thinking here so we want to go with catapult at some point there's going to be too many cities on the in the world so when we want to expand or take other stuff over, I'm going to be able to destroy one of my cities, these one square cities, and then use them to build a city where it's more, where there's more space later on. <coughs> it's really just to deny the AI the ability to build more cities. 
So this guy's done with his settler, so we're going to go spearmen again. Catapults. So let's go cat again. Uh, let's go barracks in here now. This guy's got his first catapult done. Let's make a second one and then we'll build some barracks. Catapult finished over here. Let's get another... No, let's not do that. Let's get... He's got some half-decent speed building stuff, so let's build a barracks here. Catapult done. Let's get another catapult going here. Okay, so this catapult will go over here. And this one will come down here. And that covers those two cities with two cats each. I mean, two's not a whole lot, but better than nothing. Okay, he's just going to sit there, move north, road. That's going to be a road, that's a road. And this guy is the guy I'm moving over there. I don't have a lot of defenders, but I'm going to put him right in there. Hopefully he gets there before everybody else. Let's get this second iron hooked up. So we got that city connected now. Let's irrigate this. So let's put our road here. So those guys will go in that city to defend it. So not worried about the defenders there now. <coughs> He's finished his road, so let's go here. This guy's down there. There. All right, Elfin riding a one. Let's check and see if everybody's got anything yet. Yeah, see, you know, getting that, getting literature, uh, and building all those libraries may have depleted our cash flow slightly. However, it's allowing us to pull ahead in tech here. Uh, Inca is really the only one I think that would have be ahead. Yeah, see, they're not ahead, and but you know they're also at war too, and they've lost a lot of gold there. Um, how's Spain doing? Spain's still happy with us. So that's okay. Uh, Byzantines and then Russia. The rest of them we don't care about. Yeah, Russia's still behind. All right, elephant riding at one. So we're going to continue with the rite of passage. All right, so we beat everybody to elephant riding, which is great. Now we have to decide where we're going to go. Most people don't go after seafaring. My guess is that they're re either researching code of laws, construction, or currency. So I'm going to switch to seafaring. Um, and then I'm going to turn my research back up here. So at 21 gold per turn, not too bad. We got 1,900 in the bank. Go for seafaring next. So swordsman. Keep making those swordsmen. I'm going to check to see here once we go through this little cycle to see if there's any uh, elephants around anywhere. So this guy's made his crocodile warrior barracks. Let's make a few spearmen in here. Spearmen, sword. Let's make a spear here. Yeah, we're making a couple of uh, veteran spearmen for the front lines. His wall is completed. Uh, let's go with barracks next. So there is elephants right here. And looks like these two guys are in this in the borders. All we need to do is build a road to them. Walls are done. Uh, let's go with uh, barracks here. Spearman's done. We're going to go with walls again. Just 
just so we got uh, them defended. Actually, we're going to move this Lion Warrior down where this new city is going to go. And continue your road. You're a little closer anyway. You need to go up here. There we go. And let's go here and we'll chop that. Okay. Let's do that. All right, so we're going to call it there. Um, we have expanded, well, we haven't expanded at all, but we've ex extended our research quite a bit during these uh, um, last 20 turns, uh, putting libraries on almost all of our cities. We have a few here along the, on the border here that we're going to put in, um, but for the most part, uh, libraries are in almost all of our cities. Um, we're going to put a couple more cities in here, I think, uh, just to generate some warriors so I can build really quickly, uh, real quick uh, swordsmen. Um, but other than that, we're doing pretty well. Um, we're ahead of the tech race, or a little bit ahead of the tech race. Uh, looks like we've got one elephant here, and short of having to look at all my cities here just to see if there's elephants on them, looks like we've only got one elephant, which isn't too bad. Looks like we'll be able to be used by two cities. Too bad this guy's a little bit out of the range, but two cities we can build some elephants, which means this city needs to build a barracks um, quite soon. Um, yeah, so we're going to put one more city in here, and then I think we're done with our cities. Uh, you can see that these guys are approaching each other over here. So yeah, so next time we'll be into getting seafaring done, and uh, hopefully doing some trading and finishing up the ancient era. Um, we won't need to research all the techs in here because, like I said, we'll be able to trade for a lot of them. Hopefully, uh, next time we'll be able to use elephant riding as some leverage to pick up a few, few extra techs. All right. Until next time, see you later.